I'm Lucy from So Essential and today we're going to take a closer look at the Brother Innovis 15, just one of hundreds of machines available on our site soessential.co.uk. The Brother Innovis 15 is a great value, super easy to use machine packed full of useful features including 16 stitches, three of which are one-step buttonholes, an automatic reverse stitch feature which is really unusual on a machine at this level, a start-stop button so you can sew without the foot control, needle up down to help you sew accurately, a sliding speed control so you can sew at your own pace and a great range of feet and accessories to get you started. I'll pop a link here so you can take a closer look at the machine and purchase it on our site and we'll take a look at what's in the box later in the video. But now let's get started by taking a closer look at what this machine can do for you. Threading the machine is easy. Place a reel of thread on the spool pin then slide one of the spool caps into place. You'll receive three of these with the machine, different sizes for different size reels of thread. Take the loose end of the thread and bring it under the thread guide labelled number one. Next, bring the thread round thread guide number two, around the back of the metal disc, ensuring it clicks into place and you should feel some tension on the thread. Take the loose end of the thread and push it through one of the holes on the bobbin, like so. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winder and slide it to the right to click it into place. Hold the loose end of the thread and apply some pressure to the foot pedal to start winding the bobbin. Once you've got some thread on the bobbin, snip the loose end and continue to wind. To insert the bobbin, remove the case, ensure the thread is coming down the left hand side of the bobbin. I like to remember this by thinking it should create a letter P. Place the bobbin in the case and then take the loose end of the thread through the thread guides following the arrows around, up, and down, then pull the loose end of the thread to the right and it will snip the excess off for you. Then replace the cover. To thread the needle, it's important to make sure the foot is in the up position. Next, turn the hand wheel to bring the take-up lever up to its highest position. Take the loose end of the thread and bring it through thread guide number one then bring it around thread guide number two and down the front of the machine around number three. Next, take it from right to left at number four, ensuring it's secured in the take-up lever and it continues down the path on the front of the machine to the needle bar. Bring the thread behind the thread guide labelled number six on the needle bar by bringing it from the right to the left. Next, make sure the needle's in the highest position. You can do this by pressing needle up down twice or turning the hand wheel towards you. This gets the needle into the correct position to use the needle threader. Gently pull the needle threader lever down to bring it into position. Then bring the thread behind the thread guide and across the eye of the needle. Gently release the lever and the thread will pass through the eye of the needle. Gently pull until the loose end of the thread is all the way through, then bring the thread underneath the foot and to the back of the machine and you're ready to start sewing. To start sewing, select your stitch using the dial. I'm going for a straight stitch. Then place your fabric under the foot and bring the foot down. It's worth mentioning here that there is actually extra lift on this foot on this machine. So if I push the lever up, you can see it creates extra space for me to work with bulky fabrics or lots of layers of fabric. Bring the foot down to the fabric and to secure your stitches at the start of the seam, hold this button down and the machine will sew backwards. Let go of the button and you'll be able to continue sewing in the normal way. 
You can then repeat the process at the end of the seam. There's also a great feature on this machine which you don't find on many machines at this level and that is the option for an automatic reverse or reinforcement stitch. If I press the button next to the stitch width, then lower the presser foot, when I start sewing the machine will automatically sew a reverse stitch to secure the seam. When I've decided that I've finished stitching, to sew the reverse stitch at the end of the seam, I just press the reverse button once and the machine sews the perfect number of stitches to secure the seam. The Brother Innovis 15 also comes with the option for needle up down. This allows you to choose whether you want the needle to finish in the down position in the fabric or above the fabric when you finish sewing. By default, the machine will be set to finish with the needle down. So if I sew a seam, at the end of the line of stitching, the needle finishes in the down position. And this is great for when I'm doing tasks like pivoting round corners, or if I want real precision and accuracy, because I can be confident the fabric isn't going to move, it's secured by the needle. To pivot the corner, I can then lift the foot, rotate the fabric, put the foot back down and carry on stitching in the other direction. If I want to change the function of the machine so that it finishes in the up position, I press the needle up down button to raise the needle. I'll just remove that fabric and then I turn the machine off. Then I hold down the automatic reverse button and turn the machine back on. After the first beep, let go of the button and the machine will now be set to finish with the needle in the up position. So if I now sew a seam and stop sewing, the needle finishes in the up position. The bobbin winder is also where you attach the second spool pin which is included with the machine and allows you to sew with a twin needle to create two lines of parallel stitching. The sliding speed control is another great feature which really helps with your sewing. It enables you to decide how quickly you would like the machine to sew. So if you're sewing something that requires real precision and accuracy or you're feeling a little bit underconfident, you can slide the control to the slowest speed setting and no matter how hard you press on the foot control, the sewing machine will only sew at the slowest speed. To resume a faster speed of sewing, just move the slider across and continue sewing. You can also choose to remove the foot control and use the start stop button to start and stop sewing. Press it once to start sewing and once to stop. The sliding speed controller can also be used in conjunction with the start stop button. So again, if I want to sew very slowly, I can move that control right down, then press the button to sew and it will sew in the slowest speed. Choosing a stitch on the Brother Innifice 15 is super easy. There's a handy stitch chart on the front of the machine displaying all 16 stitches, including the three buttonhole stitches. Then just turn the dial to select the stitch you want. I've chosen number four, which is a zigzag stitch, and you'll notice in the display it's also telling me which presser foot to use. It's telling me to use the J foot with this particular stitch. I can then adjust the length of the stitch with these buttons. I can increase it or decrease it. And I can also adjust the width using these buttons. So for a zigzag stitch, I might want to make it really wide for decorative purposes. And I can go all the way up to seven millimeters on this machine. Alternatively, I might want to do a practice run and sew a longer straight stitch so that it's easier to rip out when I've finished. To return back to the default settings of the machine, just turn the dial and turn back to the stitch you want to use 
and the machine will automatically set it back to the default settings for you. Changing the presser foot on the machine is really easy. It's recommended that you turn the machine off first, just in case you accidentally hit the stop start button and start sewing while you're changing the foot. And on the back of the needle bar, you'll find a black button. Press the black button and the current foot will be released. Then you'll notice on the top of your replacement foot, there'll be a bar and then there's a corresponding groove on the bottom of the needle bar. Line the bar up with the groove and lower the needle bar and that will click into place. You'll hear it click into place and then just lift the lever and check that everything is secured and you're ready to start sewing with that alternative foot. There's a handy accessory tray for storing spare bobbins and feet and this can be removed to create a free arm which is great when you're sewing in the round on things like cuffs, necklines or sleeves. You can slide the fabric over the end of the machine and it just makes it so much easier to work with. At the back of the machine, you'll notice a switch that you can slide across and this will disengage the feed dogs, dropping them below the needle plate. This allows you to sew with free motion embroidery, effectively drawing with your thread because you can move the fabric in any direction as you sew. To re-engage the feed dogs, move the slider across and turn the hand wheel towards you or start sewing in the usual way. So if you're impressed with all these gorgeous features, click the link on the screen to take a closer look at the machine or purchase it on our site. In the box you'll find everything you'd expect, a detailed instruction manual, a foot control, a dust cover, three different size spool caps for different size reels of thread, spare bobbins, spare needles, a screwdriver, a brush, an unpicker and six sewing machine feet to get you started. And these will allow you to sew all the standard sewing techniques you'd expect and also start to stretch those sewing skills a little bit further. You'll find a one-step buttonhole foot which will automatically sew the right size buttonhole, an overcasting foot to neaten those edges, a standard zigzag foot, a zipper foot, a blind hemstitch foot and quite an unusual inclusion in a machine at this level, a button sewing foot which means you don't have to hand sew buttons anymore and it speeds that process up so much, it's one of my personal favourites. If you then want to take your sewing skills even further and you want to use a piping foot or a gathering foot or an invisible zipper foot, there's a really wide range of feet and accessories you can buy for this machine on our site. Just click the link and look for the Brother Sewing Machine Feet and Accessories and give us a shout if you need any help choosing. All of our machines come with a full manufacturer's warranty, so that's three years for the Brother Innovis 15. In the unlikely event that you have a problem, just get in touch and more often than not, we can resolve any issues over the phone. But if this isn't the case, we'll collect the machine and do everything for you. We offer the best prices, but if you do see a machine cheaper anywhere else, don't hesitate to get in touch and we'll be happy to help. Your machine will arrive the next working day by courier free of charge with a dedicated time slot so you know exactly when to expect it. I really hope this video has helped but if you've got any further questions or need any further support don't hesitate to get in touch and remember even if you purchase the machine that still stands after the sale. We're always here to help. As keen sewing enthusiasts ourselves we want to help you on your sewing journey. I hope you're feeling excited about your new machine and thanks for watching.